Hey guys, it's good seeing you again. I uh, apologize I haven't uploaded on my channel in quite a few bits, but uh, today I have something very important to share with you all on Kyle the Cadet. Um, for the past few months, I had worked on this project, and this project of mine is none other than the 5 Octave Practice Marimba Pad. Over the course of winter break of last year, I had the chance of building this uh, practice pad uh, with the help of uh, family and friends, of course. Uh, without further ado, let's dive into the details. The marimba practice pad came to me because as of now, I don't really have the funds uh, to really afford any of the types of marimbas, let alone a five octave rosewood marimba. But um, I really wanted something to practice on in case I did, couldn't reach a real instrument. I'm certainly no way the first to do this, as there have been models made from Beetle Percussion, uh, the Matthew Coley series, which doesn't seem to be in stock currently. There also have been others trying to make vinyl or neoprene prints of marimbas. But I haven't found enough reviews to consider such a thing, plus I felt these aren't as authentic as they could be to a real marimba. My objective was to be as close as possible to what a marimba could be, so I had decided to take measurements from a real 5 octave Yamaha marimba, as well as measuring each bar by hand. It was painful to do, but I eventually got all the math added up. The types of materials I had assembled before building such a pad were two 8x4 foot planks followed by two 8 foot boards, some nails and door hinges, and plenty of recycled rubber as rubber can be pretty expensive in the process, and luckily recycled rubber was the cheapest option for me. In total, all of these materials came to be around 300 or so, which I was pretty happy about. All that needed to be done was some hard labor. My friend's dad is a carpenter, so I was fortunate to have all these tools to my advantage, so major credit and thanks goes to him. Once I had input each measurement in, it was just time to cut it and sand it down. And I'd say the most tedious part about this whole process was actually like cutting the recycled rubber because hand cutting 61 keys to their exact uh, size was not exactly fun in games. It took me around like seven hours to finish it. I was up to like five in the morning, it was painful. You may also notice that I've actually taken the time to make the exact size of a, of a marimba rather than something that goes just straight across like a mallet station. And the reason for that is because I wanted to play in the exact nodal points on each marimba bar, especially in the bass end. And another reason is that marimba repertoire has been pretty advanced within the last couple of decades with some pieces requiring uh, players to play on the opposite end of the marimba. With this way, it would allow two people to practice on the marimba practice pad without running into each other like a straight pad would do. Once everything was put together and dried, it was just a matter of cutting the pad in half so that it was able to fit in a vehicle. And it luckily <laughs> rather barely fit in my car, so I was, I was happy I got that in there without having to take a truck or something. Weighing in at about 55 pounds, all that was needed for the pad were a couple of X stands that could easily hold it up for anyone's dispense. While testing and playing the actual pad, I found that the Malatech Late Night series worked the best for this pad as they don't exactly have a core, it's just a ball of yarn compared to like other mallets that had cores. Here's a sound comparison from a core versus non-core. In the long run, I couldn't be more happy than the way it turned out. People may ask about why there's no pitch, and though that might be obvious, uh, the idea of the pad is to keep up with chops and to practice the types of movements you can make on the marimba. So it's, it's really not about the pitch focus as much, it's more of just movements and gestures. As far as I can say, I don't plan to patent this because such pads would be too expensive to make for trying to break even on a business level. If there are any questions from any of you guys, I would be happy to answer them in the comment section. With all of that said, thank you guys for watching and tuning in. This has been the 5 Octave Marimba Practice Pad.